from your accent, it sounds like you're from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. All right, you're from Brooklyn, <laughs> part of New York. Okay, so you're special a, part of New York. Special part. Okay, so were you growing up in a wealthy family in Brooklyn? No, I was growing up in a middle class okay. family in Brooklyn. And what did your father do? My father had a produce and frozen food distributorship right in Lower Manhattan in the old Washington market, and it was doing about two million dollars a year in total volume, but he supported a family beautifully on it. Okay, so were you a superstar student in high school or a great athlete? What were you most interested in? Well, I thought I was a great athlete, that's for sure. Right. I don't know that my coaches agreed with me, but uh, I was not a superstar student. I went to public school through the eighth grade, uh, went to high school, went to Wharton, okay. Well, getting and into Wharton isn't that easy, so you must have been a pretty good student. I, I was, a, I got good college boards, okay. and, and I, I got to Wharton and really was quite bored at Wharton. I felt I was the wrong place. What I really wanted to do was ski. So I left Wharton and I went up to Maine and became a ski bum. What did your family say, uh, Nelson, we really wanted you to go to Wharton and be a good student. You want to ski, I mean, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's correct, they did say that. <laughs> what did you do? You said I'm I went, ski? I, I, my father was an amazing guy. He wasn't happy that I left Wharton. He wasn't happy that I was a ski bum. And he wasn't happy that I grew a beard. But I did all of those things. and. Uh, the snow melted in late spring and came back and I had a, a summer job offered to me in Mount Hood, Oregon to help them in, teach racing to young kids in Mount Hood, Oregon and I needed some money to get out there. I asked him if he'd give me a job on a truck, a hundred bucks a week, two weeks, that was all I needed. He said, fine, shave your beard off. and do it. I said I, I would. So I shaved my beard off and after about a week on the job I started telling him things that I thought that were missed opportunities. And he set me up beautifully. He said why don't you stay here and do what you want to do instead of going out to Mount Hood, Oregon. Well I did and that's, that's what happened. 